Hello again, I am Blunty and this is something of a filler video for me. I'm just going to talk at the camera for a little while about the Wii U because it's my fallback position because the camera, the video I wanted to get up today, camera review, and there's another camera review after that I wanted to get it. I'm just, I'm, I can't find my muse. I can't find the words to put them in the right order that makes sense to me and make a good video and entertaining and useful and all that kind of stuff that my camera reviews have a reputation for being. So I'm postponing, <laughs> finishing them up and I'm being lazy and just procrastinating on that so I can talk more about video gaming I guess is my fallback position because I am very very excited about the launch of the Wii U which is only a few days away now in Australia and in Europe of course it's already released in the United States and like I said in other videos if you're a long time watcher I've been watching lots of streaming game content of people playing the Wii U and various games and exploring the Miiverse and everything I'm very very excited about it. it's been a very strange console launch for me because in the past like I've been through several console launches now and when they first announced it, you go, oh, oh, new console, new console, and more information, more information, give me, give me, give me. And that, you know, ramps up to the launch, and you go, Poosh, at launch. And then you're inevitably a little bit let down by some of the launch games, and but then things get good again. And that's kind of what I expected. This, I mean, that's, that's not uh, what happened to me this time. When it was first announced, I was like, eh, interesting. Let's see where it goes. Mm -hmm. And then as news dribbled out, I wasn't very excited. I wasn't very excited. It was interesting, but I wasn't mm, excited about it. And just in the last, particularly in the last month, month and a half or so, my excitement has just gone and hockey sticked right up in the stratosphere as, you know, it becomes more real and I've gone hands on with it because it's one of those things you have to go hands on to really let it sink into your brain. And that's part of the thing I wanted to talk about uh, in this particular video because one of the biggest complaints I see from whether you want to call them haters or fanboys or just people who aren't very interested in Nintendo at all or you know, for whatever reason, they are they have a negative slant on the Wii U and feel a deep urge to go out on the internet and tell strangers all about how they don't think the Wii U is very good. And I mean, I guess that's a valid enough thing to do. I mean, I'm going on the internet telling people about how excited I am for it and, you know, point counterpoint kind of thing going on. But one of the most common things I'm seeing in a lot of in the comment section in my videos and emails and, and, and on Twitter and, and private messages here on YouTube and everywhere I go that I've talked about the Wii U, there's somebody there somewhere. Usually you feel I'm going, the Wii U is not a next-gen console. And I don't understand that because I wasn't aware there was a certain number of checkboxes you had to mark off to be considered officially a next-gen console, like it's some sort of award that uh, you have to reach a certain level to be to be awarded the next-gen console trophy or achievement. Boom, ba -dum, next-gen console unlocked. Um, it is a next-gen console because it is part of the next generation of consoles. That's just how the word works, okay? It doesn't have to come out a certain time or have a certain feature to be considered a next-gen console. And the biggest problem that I've seen a lot of people whine about was not a next-gen console because the graphics don't look like a huge leap forward above the PS3 or the Xbox 360. It is a fact that the graphics processor in it is more powerful than what's in the uh, other systems at the moment. Uh, two to three times at least uh, people are sort of uh, estimating and what we've heard from developers and stuff like that. It's not a next-gen console. The launch games look just like Xbox 360 games. Call of Duty Blops 2 looks just the same as it does on the 360 and that's a five-year-old, six-year-old console. Ugh. It's not a next -gen. We use it a next-gen console. It's just catching up and blah, blah, blah. You know, you've seen it. That kind of crap. And it makes no sense at all. Because number one, being next-gen isn't about reaching a certain level of power. It's not about being X number of times more powerful than the machines that are already out there. Because the Wii U, we know Nintendo don't play that game. They never have done. The Game Boy, massively underpowered uh, with its competition. You know, the Atari Lynx, which failed, but that was way more powerful than the Sega Game Gear, way more powerful. And there were several contenders in those early days that were way, way more powerful and capable than the Game Boy, but the Game Boy won. Did it win because it was more powerful? No. It won because it was the better machine, it had better games, it was more accessible, it was cheaper, or whatever you want to call it. There were a whole bunch of reasons why it became more successful. These people are out there complaining about how the games look. These are launch games. These are launch games which look as good or better in most cases than existing games on the systems as they stand now that are six years old or whatever. If you go back and look at the launch games for the Xbox 360, they look like crap compared to the stuff coming out now. So at the end of its life, the 360 has games that look like A, and at the very, very start of its life, the Wii U has games that look like A. 
They can only get better from there as the developers learn how to tweak and take advantage of the quirks and the hardware and code for it, like every console that's ever existed. The launch games are never, ever, ever representative of the power and ability and capability of the system. That's the starting point. And a lot of the launch games for the Wii are just, frankly, lazy ports. Batman Arkham City, it's got some very interesting stuff going on with that second screen and everything. Very interesting mechanics added, bolted onto the existing game. But it's a lazy port. Have you seen it played? It's, it's the frame rate. If you get more than 10 enemies on the screen at the same time, the frame rate just, just dumps it in the ass. But again, that's not the Wii U. That's the code written for the Wii U. Because if you play Cod Blops 2, that runs smooth as silk and it looks fantastic. And that's launch game looking as fantastic or better than six-year-old hardware uh, with everything tweaked and enhanced and they've wrung out every skerrick of power they could possibly get from that machine and they've made it work on day one on launch day. I mean, that's you cannot judge the power of a console from the launch day games. So, all my rambling, done, take a breath. Don't discount the Wii U out of hand, especially if you've not tried it. Go into a store, the, the demo units all over the place now, and uh, at least in Australia, Nintendo have set up dedicated little pop-up stores with a bunch of Wii U's. You can just wander in and play a bunch of different games and stuff like that on it and, and talk to the Nintendo people there who are all bizarre, sort of happy, smiley, people of the corn type experiences when you talk to them, because, you know, Nintendo have to present themselves in a very particular way, really, because they're the clean-cut member of the family. Um, but yeah, definitely go hands-on with it before you start poo-pooing it and, and wait for a friend to buy one to go around the house and spend, you know, s spend a weekend playing with it or spend an evening playing with it. And it's, it's, it's just not fair to yourself or anybody to just go, well, doesn't, the launch games don't look that much better than the games that are out there right now. Because you just come off as a bit of a knob, really. Um, that's like I said in one of my other videos. Remember when everyone was going... Oh, the iPad? Who would want a giant iPod Touch? That's such a stupid idea. Who wants a giant iPod Touch? <laughs> but those people feel really f***ing foolish now, don't they? They must feel like colossal quads, because the iPad took the world by storm, and then everybody else went, f*** the iPad. Uh, we've got to do our own version of the tablet and, and try and beat them at their own game. We're going to rush something out the door, and for years... Android tablets were horrible things. Cheap and nasty and pathetic, and it's only now in the last few months at least, with Jelly Bean and the Nexus 7, that Nexus, uh, that Android has really become a serious threat to Apple. I mean, my Nexus 7 is brilliant, I love it. iPad is still, you know, the king in many people's minds, and I think that's where Nintendo want to set themselves up to be, and that's what they did with the motion controls. They came out with the Wii, and everyone was laughing at them, oh, waggle gaming, waggle gaming, how stupid waggle gaming. And then it became wildly popular, and uh, Microsoft and Sony went, we had our chance to buy that technology, and we said, no, don't be stupid, and now we have to rush around and figure out our own way to do it. Oh, connect, and oh, PlayStation Move, and... Oh. Don't write off Nintendo, because they will constantly surprise you. It's never a safe bet to bet against Nintendo. Sure, they've had some massive failures uh, in the marketplace, you know, stuff that seems interesting, but just didn't, didn't grab a hold of anything and slid into the gutter and was pathetic, and you, know, you can mock them about it and everything, but don't... Don't write them off out of hand, because uh, history has shown, just based on the statistics of the function, the math of the thing, you're probably going to wind up looking a bit of an idiot if you just go, no, nah, Nintendo, pfft. It's just not a, not a smart move, really. Not a smart bet. Clever money is on Nintendo on this one, I think. That's where my money's going. Of course, my money will also go on Microsoft's next thing and PlayStation's next thing, because it's... Uh, I just will. I like having all of the toys. <laughs> So thanks for watching as I ramble. It's probably been way longer than I intended it to be, but let me, yeah. if you see someone whining about the Wii U and it's, it's not an extra console, point him to this video and go, just just settle down a bit. Give it a go. Give it a chance. Don't be a noob. Don't be don't be a hater. Don't be a troll. It's boring and tedious and predictable, and you're all saying the same thing, and you're not very interesting. How about you just uh, measure something on its own merits? Eh? Sound like a good plan? Sounds like a good plan. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time, hopefully with the video I've been trying to make for uh, like a week and a half now that I haven't just, yeah, you know, the words, they won't, I can't force them together in the order that I want them in. Anyway, I'm going to go play some video games and procrastinate some more.